All right, it's another year, another Valentine's Day where a lot of people are gonna be lonely, but you don't have to be, because Behavior made a banger of a game that I don't know if a lot of people have played it or not, to be honest, but it, it's awesome. So I know how I'm gonna be spending my Valentine's Day, and that's gonna be with my cookie bear right here. <laughs> Thanks to Behavior, I appreciate you guys for this game. A part two would be amazing, but yeah, let's hop, let's uh, hop into a little snippet. We always play it once a year on the release date of the game. Uh, so yeah, this is just gonna be a little one for today. You and the Huntress whisk yourselves away to the bar, and when you arrive, you find an arrangement of arts and craft supplies? And are those taxidermy tools? Cool, cool. Are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I'm alright, I'm, right. I'm straight, I'm straight. You wonder what's going through the Huntress's head. <laughs> Though she's bubbly and enthusiastic, you're always, in, you're always terrified she might snap. Something on your mind? She smiles. Drink this. Huntress hands you a seemingly normal tropical cocktail. If one were to drug you into some sort of state in which you could be operated on, these flavors would certainly hide the poison. You look around and consider what else there is to live for besides becoming the Huntress's little toy, and the conclusion is bombs away. <laughs> and I got I got it too here. Hold on, hold on. I made it myself. Like this, maybe? Can you see that? Do I need this light? <laughs> Alright, anyways. Go, 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 go. Ooh. By the way, actually a really good drink. Like an incredibly delicious drink. Obviously the vodka you choose to use could make it probably taste worse, but I didn't pull any punches when I uh, bought the vodka. So, great drink, great drink. I need to figure out how to get what the hell that little entity claw stuff is. You pound the drink, it's quite nice. Oh, there's also a, there's also an official recipe for this on um, Twitter, on the Hooked on You Twitter page. I think it's called the Narrator. I've been thinking about making you a present, a mask. Would you be into that? Yes, of course. I always admired yours. What would you like? Ah, uh, a rabbit mask, an anglerfish mask, or a fluffy cat mask? Damn, I was lucky hoping they had a fox mask. Uh, an anglerfish mask? I feel like an anglerfish mask would be really scary. A mask with a light dangling off the front of it. And big scary fang teeth. All the better to see in the dark when I go out for my evening hunt and chomp my prey to death. I'm talking anglerfish, baby! That is such a cool idea, badass. Yeah, I'm full of cool ideas. I don't even know where they came from. Probably like the clouds or something. <laughs> well, I know what I'm going to be working on. Well, I know what I'm going to be working on tonight, all alone in my skimpy pajamas. <laughs> Huntress winks at you. Should we just like get out of here? This deserves a celebration. Okay. Um. These drinks are making me pretty sleepy. Should we just like get out of here? Maybe go get directly into your bed. No, that's not how tonight goes. No, that's not how tonight goes. I mean, it's not how it's supposed to go. Not yet, at least. You kooky kids. <laughs> Soon. Oh, the ocean, huh? Huntress, you've got lots of hobbies. Why don't you share something else with... You got lots of hobbies. Why don't you share something with us you're passionate... Huntress, you got lots of hobbies. Why don't you share something with us that you're passionate about? Wow, I'm starting to feel that drink already. Good. <laughs> something less deadly than throwing axes or chasing survivors, maybe? Just a thought. <laughs> making more masks? Or wait, making matching gloves? No, you little joker. I'm thinking of... A different type of making. Making our victims die fast, medium, or slow deaths, depending on the mood we're in. It's another round of be careful of what you wish for on murderous island. Dwight, I need your help. Uh, doing something in a different place entirely. You read my mind, see you there. I'm talking about mycology, you know. Mushrooms? I picked a lot of them, and I'm very familiar with which ones make for great soup bases, and which ones make you super dead. I'll show you two mushrooms, you point out the one that's safe to eat. Okay, that sounds easy enough. Oh. This one looks like it would kill you. Correct. It's called a black trumpet and boo and boot boo doo, it's delish. Next up, this one's very easy. I'm sure you'll nail it. Point at the one that won't result in almost instant death if you eat it. Dude, the first one 
What's the one that looked like it would kill you is the safe one. So you would think they would do the pattern one, first one, second one, first one. But if they're thinking I'm thinking that, then I would have to go with the first one again. That one looks like it would kill you. I mean, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Correct. Hey, that's a chanterelle. It sounds fancy and tastes fancy too, just like a certain someone I know, I bet. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Final question, which one will make you jump for joy and which one will make you vomit until you die? Oh my god. Well, the green one looks like it would make you vomit until you die. Honestly, though, the white one too, though, it damn near looks like a skeleton, like a mushroom skeleton. It can't be the first one three times in a row. It has to be the second one. And green's the color of vomit. So, correct. That's the green cracking rusula. Sure, it may look moldy, but I guess you shouldn't judge a mushroom by its gross green cap. Not everything is exactly as it appears at first glance. Oh, damn, I, I answered that backwards anyways. <laughs> that was fun, right? I like flexing a little more than just my biceps. Boy, well, I mean, I, I really like, do like it when you flex your biceps. So, uh. All right, let's see here. Tabulating your answers and perfect score. The knowledge is going to come in handy if we're stranded here on this island for much longer. Hunters claps our hands giddily. <laughs> I appreciate you spending time with me tonight. I know the other killers are all very alluring in their own way. It means a lot that you spend time with a forest bumpkin such as myself. Dude, who who would I choose over the hunters? Who? I don't think so. You're no bumpkin? I mean, I was sort of forced to. They are hot, aren't they? You're no bumpkin. Yeah, what the hell? Why are you calling yourself a bumpkin? You're no bumpkin. You're a strong, independent woman. Don't demean yourself. <laughs> oh, hunter sleeps on you, knife to your throat. I'll demean myself if I want to. She's angry, but also turned on. <laughs> this is pretty hot. We're here. Oh, these cock blockers. Every time. Every time. Claudette and Dwight are gathering everyone together on the beach. Typical. Exactly what the voice said. <laughs> oh, they can hear the voice too, huh? I'm telling you and I'm being honest that you're the only one who can hear me. I don't know. I don't know. Go, 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 go. The gang's all together again on the volleyball court. Seems like only yesterday you were sitting on the sidelines watching everyone get sweaty. That's because it was? Oi. Feels like I've been here a lot longer than that, actually. It's so late that the sun's already beginning to rise. Better get this over with quickly so that I mean, I mean you can get some beauty rest. I, I do not recommend the eternal damnation of perpetual narrative. Good thing you've really used your time well since then. Really getting to know the gang. The brain, the mogul, the basket case, the psychotic bunny girl. You know those four types of people. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Who, wait, the Wraith is the brain? The Mogul? I guess the Trapper's the Mogul since he's rich. The Basket Case? I guess that's Spirit? And the Psychotic Bunny Girl, obviously. <laughs> anyway, everyone is gathered on the volleyball court for a new type of game. Pitch your dream date and see who the Brownie chooses. <laughs> Who's ready for a round robin? How round are we talking? She's thinking of a robin robin. No, not to eat hundreds. <laughs> Each killer gets two minutes to tell you all about the dream date they have planned for you. In no particular order, which is a very weird thing to mention, right? Almost like it does matter. Wraith, why don't you go first? You look like you'd hate that. Stop <laughs> talking. Sorry. Anyway, Wraith. Well, I don't know. I prefer to just tell the brownie privately. <laughs> oh, I don't really know what's going on. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I really... Oh, man. Wow. I fucking... I took that drink a little bit and threw a little bit more alcohol in it. <laughs> um, I don't really know how that's going to work for these game mechanics. What if you just whispered it to the brownie? Wraith considers it for a long moment. Too long. That's fine. <laughs> Without moving, Wraith lowers his voice to a barely audible whisper. Tomorrow we have to find my bell. And then I can truly tell you what I've been working on. It's going to be really special. The kind of thing where we can really bond and maybe finally get off this island. And maybe then we can go on a real date. Uh, you done? Is that it? Wraith nods. Proud. Hit a spirit. Figuratively, damn it, Dwight, you gotta watch your words with these people. Tomorrow you'll spit in the face of God, die, and be born in him. Uh, something slight. You know, <laughs> that's your typical first date, you know what I mean? That's it? If you're not intrigued by that, I don't want you. Go draw crayon art with Trapper. Well, crayon art with Trapper don't don't sound too bad. Or dig up mysteries with Wraith. 
I don't know what those guys do all day. Crayon art. I mean, sheesh. Do you want to at least specify which guy you'll be spitting in the face of? All of them. Okay then, so hydrate if you intend to hang with spirit. <laughs> Trapper, without further ado, would you like to make us all uncomfortable by pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable, not only in polite society, but within the narrative of this in-world event and also the larger meta <laughs> and also the larger meta narrative of Dead by Daylight's dating experience. Sometimes you just gotta say it. Why yes, thank you, I'd love to. So to Brownie, you're thinking of picking me? Well this is your final warning. Pick me and be punished. And rewarded? <laughs> Tomorrow will suck, probably. I'm not an easy guy to get along with, I know that. Damn, well, you're really selling me. But I can tell you this much, I'm hiding a secret on this island that will make fans shit themselves with excitement. Hmm, I don't think I've ever been that excited. If you like Trapper, you're gonna love it. And if you're not, or and if not, you're a maggot. I'll, also, everyone, even confident sexy ladies in rabbit masks, better stay the hell away from my yacht. No, no. Great, Huntress, why don't you take it from here? Tomorrow morning, I'm planning on a nice atmospheric breakfast on the yacht. Don't worry, Trapper won't even know it's gone. What was that? Nothing. Go away. Then boy oh boy, I've got such an adventure planned. It involves hunting for treasure. What kind of treasure are we looking for? Guess you'll have to pick me to find out. Let me tell you, primo stuff. I'm surprised you know what primo is. Now if you don't mind, I gotta start preparing because it's clear you're already going to pick me. <laughs> I love the confidence, and it's absolutely right. Look at those damn guns. Bingo bongo. Confident, mysterious, I like it. And time's up, everyone. Gosh, you'll need to dream about these options so you're ready to go in the morning. Now go dream about all these swoon-worthy options so that you're ready to make a choice come to I I've already made my choice. She was right, she caught me. She, she called me out, Red. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore because I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> uh, did you two forget to mention something? Oh gosh, how could, how could we forget? Before you run off to slumber peacefully, there's one more thing to do. No reality survival dating competition parody would be complete without singling out one of our contestants who's already teetering, teetering on the edge of a psychological break. Oh, and giving them a little push. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up. This has been a survival dating competition parody this entire time, and I'm just now finding out about it. Come on, the signs were there. You didn't just read them. You just didn't read them. Welcome to Murderer's Island. Damn you, Dwight. It's now time to eliminate one of the killers. Ugh, it's like butchering, but it hurts even worse. You can't kill a killer, but can you break their heart? Do you dare even try? You mean... That's right, tomorrow one of these sexy slicers will not be eligible to take you on a date. Who's it gonna be? Why? Uh, because it's dramatic? Gosh. Because it's surprising? Because it's a classic reversal of fate? And it will hurt someone's feelings, someone dangerous. What's it gonna be, champ? What's your thought process here? Trapper seems like he might throttle you in your sleep if you eliminate him. Eh, some slight, some slight. I, hey, I got the hunters to protect me. Her big sweaty biceps will keep me safe. I, th I think I'll be alright no matter who I choose to uh, eliminate. That being said, at least you'd see him coming. Spirit could be anywhere. She floats, and I hear she can disappear. Hard to track. If you get rid of Wraith, he might cry. And although I totally support normalizing men crying and being vulnerable, it just seems like it might be an ugly crier. Huntress? She might pretend to be okay with it, but then you'll start seeing her behind every tree. What I'm trying to say is, I don't envy you, boss. So what's the sociopath you're eliminating? Hmm... Let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. It's gotta be Trapper. What the hell? What did I do last time, Wraith? This was very simple. Trapper, you scared the living shit out of me. You're eliminated. That's fair. <laughs> Honestly, oh, what the hell? Come on now. My light fell. Honestly, though, I don't care. You suck. But not in a good way. You bore me. You're pers you personality-free maggot. It wouldn't even be fun to kill you. Well, I mean, that's a that's a bonus. Which I was totally going to do tomorrow the first chance I got. So really, this is a win-win for the both of us. Hey, it is a win-win for both of us. Still might kill you, though, out of principle for eliminating me. Sleep with both eyes open. <laughs> and have fun on your date tomorrow. I will have fun on your hot. I will have fun on your yacht with uh, the bunny mommy. So, yeah. Sleep with uh, both eyes open, huh? Now that you've broken the heart of someone heartless, you should go get some shut-eye. 
and don't worry too much about the broken heart you left behind. Because of course, they'll be receiving a consolation prize. They may not get to go home with the brownie, but when this is all over, they'll never sleep alone again. That's right, we're sending our eliminated player home with a trickster body pillow. Wow, I already got my body pillow. Wait, 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 wait. It's not the trickster one, because I'm pretty sure they never sold it. I already got... Oh, I gotta get this back on. I sold. I fumbled. I already got my body pillow right here from when the game came out, like, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Two years ago? I got a, a body pillow in my cookie bear. It sold out pretty much immediately. The Huntress was the first one to sell out. Surprise, surprise. And then they restocked it. But this thing was like 50 bucks. And I don't sleep with it because it is way too hot. I lied. I sleep with it all the time. I sweat all over that damn thing. I can't help it. <laughs> their own uh, their own mostly new trickster body pillow the next best thing to the real trickster it might not hug you back but it definitely won't try and stab you and how do we know because i've tried it that's right it's dwight tested claudette approved i hope you sleep well tonight de brownie you're my hero for what you've accomplished how can you sleep tonight knowing what you've done no not because of the guilt i mean knowing that there's a legit homicidal maniac who hates you so close by how can you sleep tonight, knowing what you'll do tomorrow? I mean, easily. Knowing I'm going on a date with the Huntress, easily. Sleep like a baby. Actually, I probably wouldn't be able to go to sleep because I'd be so excited waiting for it. I don't know how you'll do it, but you better go before Dwight and Claudette come back and put you to sleep themselves. You know those two. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Wow, what a crazy way to end the day. An elimination? I didn't even know it was that kind of game. Let's check in with everyone, especially with our loser. Everyone deserves a send-off. I can't help it if I have thick arms and legs that go until the taste. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I knew we had a connection from the moment I saw them through my mask. That's sweet. You can never be sure what's going on in the newcomer's mind, but I like my odds for tomorrow. Yeah, you, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it's so fun hunting for love and not for food or vengeance for a chance. Yeah, yeah, I agree, I agree. I don't really know what's happening here. Honestly, I haven't really been paying attention. Oh, the brownie? Sorry, I forgot. I'm focused on other things. More important things. One way or another, I won't be here for much longer. Uh-oh, Travis, fuming. I don't handle rejection well. At least I don't think I do. No one's ever been dumb enough to reject me before. Yeah, the more I think about it, the angrier I'm getting. And I'm a giant rage monster, so everyone in this room should be scared right now. Turn the camera off. Did I think there was a chance I might be eliminated? Yeah, I did. Did I care if I got eliminated? Not even a little. Does the volume of the words I spend talking about much... Wait, wait. Does the volume of words I spend talking about how much I don't care about things signify a deeper yearning within me to be seen, heard, and validated by those around me? Nah. <laughs> what? No, you're not a part of this. You don't get a confessional. It's cool, man. I'm not a part of anything, you feel me? I'm not a cog in anyone's machine. I'm my own machine. This whole thing's pretty cute though. Charmingly low budget, old school marketing vibes, not gonna lie. Kinda wish I wasn't so busy right now. I'd definitely be down with a reality show style dating competition with survival elements. But I got a new album upcoming tour, finalizing the new sneaker line, producing a limited series of my life, <laughs> starting a new social media NFT crypto app, and doing these private gigs over on IP Island. My dudes, you gotta come check it out. IP Island, it's dope. It's where the real killers are hanging out. Fully licensed, no legal drama. Lawyers take a hike. I'm gonna tell everyone that Trickster said that about them, don't worry. <laughs> I'm talking your favorite established characters from all over pop culture that can be seen on this island. Hell, you probably can't even mention them, like Ghost Foot. Don't you say it! We get it, you're very popular and in demand, but we have a game to get back to, and I don't want to get sued. Ghostface! Come on! <laughs> Whatever, I didn't even care. I'm the Trickster. See you around, the Brownie. You too, narrator. Hey, I have a name, you know. You do? Yes, seriously. <laughs> they do not pay me enough to deal with you people. Is it my turn? What? No, no, it's not your turn. You're sentient water. How are you even sitting in that chair? What's a chair? It's the thing you're getting all wet. Now it's gonna smell like mildew. Okay, rude. First, let's just get this over with. It's your turn, Ocean. Do your check-in. Check-in? I was just looking for the bathroom. Bathroom, are you serious? It's down the hall to the left. It's okay, never mind. I just pissed myself. <laughs> never mind? What does that mean? Aw, oh, not you too. This wasn't meant to be a confessional for everybody in the game. 
It's okay, we don't have to confess anything. We just been working our ass off for a couple days and we wanted to sit down somewhere. Oh, this chair's wet. Yeah, I think the ocean just pissed on it. How is that? Ah, you know what, I don't even care. You two are looking pretty pleased with yourselves. I've got something to confess. Oh my god, Dwight. Oh great, what's it gonna be? You ate the glue in second grade? You cheated on an algebra test? Watching Trapper get eliminated was the first time in this unending spiral staircase of pain that in my life I felt even a modicum of joy. Every minute that I'm alive is a nightmare. This place, this sun, the sweet sugary drinks. It sounds fun for a long weekend, but for an eternity? The unrelenting rhythm of crashing waves and wailing seagulls. It's like a crescendoing song of evil that makes me question the very foundation of the universe. Why am I here? Why are any of us here? What kind of sentient being would do this to us? Please erase me from this existence. Make it so I was never born. Pull the plug of this experiment and let my soul be free. Please, please get me out of this polo shirt. Okay, let's get you to bed, buddy. <laughs> Going to bed, it means eventually I'll have to wake up. Yikes. Huh? That was a weird way to end it. All right, well, what are you going to do? You let the camera roll long enough, someone's bound to say something crazy. Anyway, seems like everyone's had their shot to annoy me tonight, so let's hit the hay and get some rest. Tomorrow's going to be a doozy.